Hi, so today I am in the bathroom as you can see and that's because I am going to be giving you a little tour of my bathroom and closet and just kind of show my minimal organization. I feel like I've come a long way. I used to hoard a lot of items and now I am starting to really be minimal, living with intention and having things that actually serve me purpose. So let's get started since we're already in the bathroom. This is the bathroom um, first wall here which has a mirror that's pretty big this place does have really high ceilings which is really nice so that's the mirror and then over here is a towel holder but we don't use it as you can see the light switch the building is pretty old so it does have like an older version of like a toilet paper holder but there's this this one that we use there's a outlet right here, a heater, our trash can, and then a toilet bowl scrubber. And then the toilet, of course, you know what that is. I also have a little toddler seat for my daughter. Over here, we have the sink area, and we just have some hand soap, pretty much. There is a little bit of storage here. I just have some wipes the bathroom cleaners, a brush, and then this, this little mat is waterproof. I got it from Dollar Tree and um, I just keep it there because I don't want the products to spill and cause a mess. Next to the sink area is this space where it fits my foldable drying rack perfectly, but when I'm not storing it, it does open up and I do like to hang and air dry all of my clothes except for um, socks and underwear. But it, I've been doing this for a couple of years and I noticed that it does help to extend the life of my clothes and avoid it fading or ripping. So that's what I've been doing with this and I did get it from Target. Above it is the other storage space in here, which is this cute little cabinet. And I do have a beautiful English ivy plant at the top and it's just growing down because it's attracted to the light from the window. Here is these little doors, which just have all our things to get ready for the night, like face wash, makeup remover, toothpaste and tongue scraper, um, our toothbrushes, this is my daughter's, some mouthwash. These are like floss, little flosses that we're trying to finish. And then these are dental care kits. I did cut out this waterproof mat just to protect the bottom. And I, I got it from Dollar Tree and I kind of customized it to the length of this. I even cut around the door area. So that was like a fun little project. I also did that for a lot of places around the house, including right here in this bottom shelf. Just kind of protects the bottom in case like this avocado oil spills or anything. But I just have these three items here. So I have the avocado oil, which I use instead of lotion for myself. I just feel like it works better for my skin. And I also have this Eco Tools dry brush and a glass container with some Q-tips. And we don't really have any hand towels, so we don't store any there. And then here's the window, of course. I usually have the windows open with the blinds down for privacy, but I did open it just because it could get a little bit dark in here. We do have a shower bath. I have a body scrub and then this is a silicone scrub so I feel like it lasts longer than a traditional loofah. And over here is this 4-in-1 organic sugar scrub and it's basically could be used for the face, body, hands, or hair. I even use it to remove my makeup. And then next to it is just a hair conditioner. Right outside of the bathtub, we do have this little rug just to dry ourselves, and it is from Costco. And although these are my indoor shoes, I don't know, it feels weird to step on the rug with shoes. But here's the doorway that leads into the closet, so let's go there. I just want to point out right away that this door does lead outside of the closet into the room, so... That's why there's like so many doors and mirrors in here. There's also this huge mirror that really helps to like open up the space. Although it is already pretty big, I feel like the mirrors really just make it look 
bigger than it is, but this mirror was already here when we moved in. So we kind of just left it, you know, it does look really nice and I feel like mirrors do help to make the room look bigger because of the lights and the reflection and everything. So there is this one here and then right next to it is this storage space. There are three shelves as you can see and the first one is for my husband's shoes. So he has the same pair of Crocs that I do to use in here. And then he has a pair of sneakers on right now, but then he also has this one as well as his dressing up shoes. And then the shelf below is for me and my shoes. And I have some lace flats here, like if I want to dress up. And I also have some running shoes back here, some high tops, my rain boots. And then these are like my comfy shoes. So these are like the shoes that I wear like for every day just because they're more comfy and I have wide feet and none of these are good for wide feet. Um, so these are like my go-tos or my Crocs, which I have on. And then in the shelf here is like for our workout stuff. And we do have some really dirty dumbbells here. These are 25 pounders that my husband got, but hopefully I can start using them soon because they are really heavy. And then I also have this jump rope here and these are ankle weights and you can adjust the weight by taking out the weight so each of these little pockets is a weight and i already took out a lot of them because it was really heavy but that's really nice that you can adjust it and i have the extra ones here so they just look like this i also have a resistant band back here next to that is my waist trainer and this box has a whole kit for like massage so in case we are sore and stuff just kind of goes with the workout stuff and it fits really nice there so there's four cabinets here and the first two is books which i can show you we actually have a bookshelf out there in the room but they don't they don't fit so we kind of like have been using this as storage for books. It's kind of heavy. So we have these. These two I won't open just because it has a lot of our important documents and papers. But they look they look like these two, but just with different items inside. And then here's the sliding doors. And this side of the closet is my clothes and then the other side is my husband's clothes i have to do a lot of decluttering of these clothes as well because there's a lot of things that i feel like i could get rid of just to minimize it even more and at the top these three piles are mine we did laundry like three or four days ago so we don't have a lot of dirty clothes and the dirty clothes i keep it in here in this basket which i did thrift and then I just put like a trash bag over it. And then this is his side. So he also has some folded pants and shorts. I think these are his glasses and some extra hangers, some belts. I kind of use these from time to time as well. We share a lot of stuff. Like sometimes I use the shirts because they're really comfy. This is another hamper for our dirty clothes. So we have two. And this one, I got it, actually my grandma got it from the side of the street. They were like going to throw it out and I didn't have one. So this, this is really good. I've had it for like 15 years. And then in this side, we have some more storage space. There is another three shelves, just like the other side. So at the top is a lot of our camera equipment, like... An extra camera, some chargers, our SD cards, camera stands, and some bag full of chargers and things that my husband needs. And then in the second shelf, we have a iron as well as all of our towels for showering. And then in the third shelf below, I do keep a lot of my stuff. So I have this little glass container that I got from Target like 10 years ago. And it just has all of my jewelry and I also like, I used to collect shells. I don't anymore because I don't know if I'm taking away from the animals because these are 
like their homes, so I feel kind of guilty now, but every time I would go to a new beach, I would collect little shells. And I think this one I got it from Hawaii, and it, it looks like a heart, so that's why I brought it. It's very unique. Back here I have two perfumes, so hopefully once I finish them, I will only have one. I don't need two. And then there's like a mini one right here that my mom gave me. And then I have two hats, a bucket hat and a straw hat. And then on this side is a lot of like my getting ready stuff. So this is my makeup bag, my makeup brushes, a mirror. This is like a face powder that just, I just put it there because I need something to hold my, my sponge. And then I have um, castor oil, mousse. This is my daughter's spray. It works really good to detangle hair. And then this is the one I use for protecting my hair. It's a 10 in 1, but I really like it for the heat protectant that it has. I have some jojoba oil and then my face spray. This brush bath to clean brushes. This is my husband's hair pomade. And then this is a little concoction that I made with the coconut oil, castor oil, avocado oil and jojoba oil and i just kind of use it as a pre-conditioner so i put it on before i go in the shower they're mostly on the ends of my hair and yeah some more little stuff to get ready like chapstick and sharpener and eyelash curler so yeah this is kind of things that i use to get ready and then in this shelf or drawer actually i do have some baskets in here i don't want to open it all the way because it is our socks and underwear so this is my husband's and this is mine and in this one i do have a lot of my hair tools so i have three hair tools this is a straightener a i kind of use this to blow my blow dry my hair and then this is to curl my hair and my hairbrush and then this bag has a lot of our things like scissors to cut my hair, tweezers, eye creams, razors, nail clippers, foot creams, deodorants, and um, face cream, things like that, like lotions. So that's where I keep it. This has a lot of my pads and tampons and I have like crazy amount of eyelashes. I wish I didn't, but I already have them. So, I mean, might as well just use them with time. Some eyelash glue. I do really like using these face sponges to do my makeup as well. This little kit is a sewing kit from Dollar Tree and it has so many things in there. So I love it. Anytime I want to fix something, I just use it. And then this little box is from Dollar Tree as well, but I use it to store all of our hair ties. We have so many little hair ties and clips. So I, I just use it for that. And then this bottom drawer has mostly um, my husband's things from when he was little. And then this is my bag of clothes. I have three things in there, but it's like my memories of clothes that I had. And then some pictures as well. So that's that. And uh, that's pretty much all of our belongings besides the things that we have in one more storage closet. But that's mostly my daughter's stuff. This is kind of everything that we own. We store it here and we're really happy that we made it fit just because we didn't want to put dressers or more things here like storage stuff. We don't feel like we need it. Everything that we own fits into these storage spaces and that works for us so this is basically the whole tour of our minimal bathroom and closets so i really hope you enjoy watching i do plan on decluttering actually some things from my closet so I will be making that video soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy this, make sure to let me know down below or anything else you'd like for me to show you. And take care of yourselves, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!